Jamie from Smile and Breathe. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own loose face powder. Um, super easy and affordable. All this stuff you can get at the grocery store. I'm going to show you what you need and then we'll just jump right in. Um, in addition to the ingredients, you will need a small clean bowl and a spoon. Alright, cornstarch. All these ingredients have a pretty long shelf life too, so that's nice. Um, natural unsweetened cocoa. And if you choose to, for a little more excitement, you can add in a little turmeric, a little, or um, some cinnamon. I added, into, I added in both to the mix today. I'm wearing it now. I think it kind of mattifies. Uh, I think it's cute. Um, it's natural, and I have a little secret for another use at the end of the video. So um, stay tuned, and here we go. Okay guys, so I have all my materials ready to go and I'm gonna do all the mixing in this little bowl. So I'm gonna start with a big tablespoon of the cornstarch. I'm not gonna make too, too, too much, but I want a little bit more. Now I'm gonna gradually start adding in the cocoa powder until it reaches my desired shade. And this is really the only other step you need to do the next two are just kind of some extra fun. So I'm just gonna start with a little bit. I haven't done this for a while, so. You can test it on the back of your hand. It is gonna get a little messy probably, but it's not a big deal. Do you, I didn't put much in, and do you see it's already a pretty, pretty beige color? Okay. Okay, so let's just try that. Let's just see what that did. I'm going to just dip my brush in there and tap it off. Just put it on the back of my hand. It's a little light, so I'm going to go a little darker, but not too much because I'm going to add in a couple other things. We'll mix in a little bit of that, and then I like to add the cinnamon. I think it adds a little bit more depth, and it's just kind of nice. And to be honest, this stuff smells so good. Not much. And then this is my new experiment. I'm just going to sprinkle a tiny bit of turmeric. Turmeric is great for your skin into the powder. Just a little bit. That was just right on the spoon, but let's get that in. I might add a little bit more. It won't do much, but I'll feel good having it in there. And if I like it, maybe I'll add more next time. So already this is looking good. And I have to say, it hasn't irritated my skin ever. I haven't used it for a while, but I'm going to try to go back to it. Because it's nice to know where all the ingredients came from. And it's really cheap. It's supposed to be kind of like a bare minerals dupe. Okay, let's test her out. I think that might be pretty good actually. Hmm, I don't know if you could see my hand when I was doing that, but it's going pretty good. So let's try it on my face and see, I might add a little bit more um, cocoa and then I'm gonna try it on my face. So I did add a little bit more uh, cocoa powder and I did forget that turmeric stains so use a spoon when you're using the turmeric um, and I put a, I did try it out on my face a little bit but I'll do it on camera so you can see um, just same thing tap 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 I'm not gonna use too much because I already put it on but it it looks good it kind of mattifies and blurs I feel like oh that was kind of a lot It smells nice and it just feels really soft going on and it feels pretty soft so I like that a lot the other trick I have with this that what I actually use it for a lot is that after you self tan um, and dry a little bit use a brush and brush this powder on in like any place it gets a little sweaty after you self tan if you know what I'm talking about so like under the boobs between the on the elbow um, behind your knees and um, it makes a nice barrier and it's gentle on your body. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something and um, subscribe, like, and I'll see you next time. Bye.